Omar's in Ealing. Omar, what would you like to say? Yeah, mate, I, I just don't, I don't agree with what you're saying, and I hope I'm not cerebral on this. That's one, better. No, nice one. Yeah, it's going it, hard. Mate, Stubs listen. up. <laughs> Can I go? Yes. Mate, as usual, you've got an opinion, right? But but I don't agree with it. So you're saying Gareth Southgate is should have stayed. He's he's brilliant. Um, he's the best thing that could have happened, and we would have progressed under him. Couldn't agree, couldn't disagree more, mate. Yeah, he's all right. He's done well. He's done. We've reached two finals. Brilliant. The issue has been throughout history, England have been an underperforming team. The team that we have, the players that we have, should always do better. So just because in the past we've been really bad and this time we've been better, doesn't mean we've progressed. We still underachieve. You need that little bit of knowledge that guy was talking about. I don't have it. No, the, the, the fans don't have it, but they know it's missing. What, who has it is the top, top managers, mate. They have it, and they know what difference it is to win that tournament, and that's what we've never had. So you want, you want a kind of uh, a, a, a Klopp... A Mourinho in his heyday. I, I'm trying to think of an English manager and, and who well, might a, a Brian Clough. Equivalent, yeah, an international equivalent. Uh, um, I'm not sure those guys could do it at that level, but uh, uh, at the international. Stage. Well, that's but, part. Yeah, that's part of the problem, equivalent. though, isn't it? Because it, 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 the the pool from which you pick an international manager is different from the pool. Ericsson and Capello were, were world class managers, and neither of yeah. them particularly covered themselves in glory. So this is where the FA comes in, right? Yeah. So the FA, as an institution, needs to understand our game, right? It needs to understand our structure. It needs to understand the kind of players that are coming through. But, but, but no, that, but Southgate knows... understood all of that better than anyone. This is the problem I think you've got, is that you're letting the perfect be the enemy of the good. There is no perfect here. Pep Guardiola's not going to suddenly turn up at Lancaster no, Gate. And no. t- so who? Then give me an example of someone who'd do no, better. I don't know. This is the FA You have to. It's a, it's a football it's phone-in. You've got to have a strong opinion. And who should get the job next and be better than Gareth Southgate? I, I, I don't know. I don't Make know. that noise Klopp. again. Make that noise again. I don't know, Klopp. Bah, bah, bah. Klopp, you can't have... Well, yeah, that would be nice. But I would he happy? I would he. Ancelotti, I don't know. I think you've been lacking this morning, James, and I think this conversation... <laughs> that's more everything. like it. Go on. <laughs> I mean, this conversation is everything that's wrong with English football. We have got... Can you say, say, why don't you say stick to politics, eh? I'll get Gary Lineker yeah. on to tell me to stick to politics. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, yes, as I'm saying, I think it's everything that's wrong with English football, and it's our loser's mentality, because we are talking about Southgate as if he hasn't failed for four tournaments in a row. Yes. And we're making excuses, and we're picking out his best qualities, well, let's make him a role in the FA or let's make him an MP, which I think he'd actually be much better at than being a football manager. This is a man man who's got middles for relegated. He has no CV. No Premier League team would employ him. Um, And four tournaments in a row, his defensive style, his picking of favourites, as we've discussed, is the reason we have failed. It's not the players. The players are world class. The manager isn't. And I'm so happy we're finally going to change things. I like this brutality. What What about the obvious response that he has secured more semi-finals and finals in international tournaments than pretty much anybody else on the planet in the last six years? Well, as Ayrton Senna once said, finishing second is just the first of the losers. And I completely <laughs> agree. It doesn't matter how many finals he's got to. It doesn't matter how many semi-finals he's got to. It's about what he's won, which is absolutely nothing. I, I, I can't, can't argue with any of that, but if you're seeing him in the pantheon of England managers, he's done better than anybody except Alf Ramsey. Yeah, but if you think about the nation's connection to the team and the type of football we played, Bobby Robson got us to the semi-final, but people love that team. It played good football. Oh, people it love this team. Together. People I love... don't love this team. Well, you... I think you're... Your true football fans don't love this team. Oh, they leave it out. That, you, that, that, well, that's like, not true yeah. for a start. But also the, the, the young men that are genuinely inspiring role models are now wearing an England shirt instead of um, some members of previous generations. <clears throat> so we, we, to- we tolerate this team, but I think talking about them being role models rather than their performances on the pitch is, again, the issue. Did you enjoy England, Neil? They can be, they, they can be both. They, they can be both. No, time? I didn't. No, I didn't enjoy no. that match. But, crikey, there have been, I don't, been games throughout the decades that I haven't enjoyed. It hasn't all been Gary Southgate's fault. But I think you're right. I think it, I, not just an English malaise, but a consequence of so many years to paraphrase the song, so many years of hurt meant that yeah. just doing better than everybody before perhaps gave Southgate a, a, a more credit than he deserved. Because ultimately, if you're not winning, you're not winning. If you're not winning, you're losing. You can write that down, Phil. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, look, it, it was good for one or two tournaments. I don't disagree with you, but his time has long since passed. We probably should have got rid of him after the last Euros. We probably should have got rid of him after the World Cup. And I'm very happy we're getting rid of him now. Do we need to move on to someone who's focused? That's Isn't more like to it. be friends with the press. No, the that's FA more like it. That's it. Now it's sounding like a proper football tournament. phone-in. Thank you. That's, that's more. And in fact, here's a great text just to add to the sense of it being a proper football phone-in. Nick writes, frankly, Brian, at the end of the day, the idea that all football fans communicate in some kind of common cliched idiolect is, to be fair, unfair, and well out of chuffing order. As for replacing Southgate, who, by the way, continue to select players who made mistakes, it's unforgivable. It's obvious. Restore traditional values. Bring back Big Sam. Early ball to the big fella up front bish boss job done susan Leeds, sue what would you like to say oh hi hello um, yes. uh, first time um got C- through to what's you. it yeah caller caller <laughs> first time caller that's w- the word welcome yes thank you and i thought uh, first woman perhaps on to talk about this as well um yes but um yeah i think what gareth um brought was the way he conducted himself i'm sure a lot of people have already said this um and he um to me, he supported, he really sort of supported and shielded his players when the backs were up against the wall. That was very special, and, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And the Black Lives Matter protest, when he, he allowed, you know, his players kept taking the knee in spite of all the, you know, all the crap he was getting for that's allowing allowed. that yeah, just, to happen. Just don't, don't, don't go any ruder than that word you just used, Oh, sorry. Please. No, that's all right. Sorry. So it's a football phone. It's a football phone in. Yeah, so yeah. it's in the morning now, isn't it? I yeah. do beg your pardon. Oh, that's, that's quite and, all right. That's quite all right. Um, uh, but yes, and um, and I think um, that also uh, I supported, I kept supporting the team from the start of this tournament when everyone was saying, oh, they're rubbish, they're rubbish. Um, because look at the, the it- Italian team, they were rubbish. I mean, they really went out with a whimper. So mm. I think comparing those teams, you have to look at all of the other teams. I know we're always, you know, on a, about our own teams, but um, I think, um, you know, I think that what Gareth... Um, <laughs> yeah. Again, it, it, yeah. But so also, are you glad or sad that he's gone? Um, I'm, or both? Both. I'm, okay. I'm sad, but I think he's it's taken a lot out of him, actually. Interesting. And... I think it's time possibly to pass a baton on. But what I'd like is for him to be involved in the next selection because up until Gareth, probably since, say, uh, Alf Ramsey, the uh, selectors, FA, have been rubbish at selecting a... um, a sort of well, uh, Venables, being Venables a, was all right, but, being but, a bit hard. but he came but, and Bobby Robson was all right, but he came in after that weird Capello yes, Allardyce yes. period where yes. they did seem to be making mistakes on on the scale with never letting Brian Clough have a go. Suzanne is in Warrington. Suzanne, what would you like to say? Um, I would just like to say uh, that I think Southgate has done the right thing. He's done the honourable thing, and I think he's probably for himself. He's the stage where he uh, he is at as well and whatever goes on politically with the FA uh, because they do seem to favour English uh, born and bred men. Well, la- la- latterly, 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 we haven't thought about the possibility of having a female manager but I, I, don't, I don't think those days are upon us quite yet. That's probably a bit too far, but mm. <laughs> you know, I, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm, I'm Danish from background. We don't have those kind of barriers. We 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 probably see men contra women just about being you know a good manager being a good leader and i think uh, just putting that on to to the who's going to lead the, the england team i would like to see someone a slightly more aggressive more progressive someone okay. that can really yeah i think this i think the raw material is there there's a lot of really really good young players Plenty of them, and so and so, so someone could come in and just just find a little sprinkle of magic dust that Gareth Gary Southgate well, never it, quite managed to, to find. I think I think he did extremely well, but he's obviously got a team of FA people behind him who's constantly, you know, perhaps putting maybe um, well, they're better than yeah. they used to be, but they've not been ideal. I, you, 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 you were a Jan Mulby fan back in the day. Well, yes, I'm not, I played football myself as a very young player. Did you? I, I went, yeah, yeah, I played from. I because played you've picked up a bit. Six. You've picked up a bit of an accent in the northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yet the Danish accent is still there as well, and and that's that's ex- yeah. that's exactly what happened to Jan Molby, isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, to be honest, yeah, I was, you know, I mean, there's been plenty of, of really good star players on the Danish team that never really made it because they couldn't handle the money and the lifestyle and well, the admiration. And, and, and Southgate has given these lads a, a foundation for their futures, I think, that you, you're right to refer to.